Hilton looks like Compton had a good move in. And the artist as well. That's a, that's a tough throw when you're throwing to that short side. One defender can defend multiple players. Third down now. 16 of 20, two touchdowns, 204 yards for Chase Nelson. Not bad in his debut as a quarterback. 16 carries, 48 yards on the ground. Third and goal from the five. They're bringing heat. Nelson gets away, finds a man. Touchdown, Logan. <laughs> That's a great play. Wow. Was that Compton? I believe it was. It was Taylor Compton. And there you see escapability and the ability to keep the play alive is what makes Nelson dangerous. Big extra point here, make it a four point lead. The AT is good and it's a 24-20 advantage for the Grizzlies with 10.56 to play in the game. Where do you old grist mill? Where do you old grist mill? Well, we've talked the entire game about Chase Nelson's ability to keep a play alive, his escapability, and what he can do with his feet. And what he does with his feet sets up what he does with his arm on this touchdown to Compton. And Compton gets free, and, and Chase Nelson put a little bit of heat on that one to, to kind of thread the needle to get that one in there. That was, a, that was an excellent throw, and uh, you're right. He gets out, makes a nice pass. Oh, a little, little trickeration. Short kick, it's free! And Logan's on it! <laughs> now there's one Knight down there, and the Logan guys are hauling him out, and it looks like Logan may have it. Boy, that's a great call by Logan. Catches the Knights totally off guard. Now, we said a few minutes ago, about the way this game has gone. Oh my goodness, if Northridge can get two scores in front of Logan, Logan could be in trouble. What about the other way? Do you feel that way the other no. way? I think, I think the Knights have a good enough quick strike offense that they can get back into a game, even down by two scores, especially if there's 10 plus minutes on the clock. Compton in motion. Nelson's going to keep it back the other way to McIntyre. He's got a convoy. McIntyre down to the 15-yard line. Boy, that's a perfectly executed play, that screen pass. Well, that's the same play that Northridge scored on a little yeah. bit ago. 23 yards. Three catches, 49 yards for McIntyre. Your Coach Thompson, this is what you did not want to see. More Logan offense. They're just getting better and better at executing. McIntyre in motion. You've got four wide receivers. Nelson's going to keep it. He's got the edge if he wants it. Turns the corner. Ducks out of bounds. It's going to be goal to go 
Yeah, for the Grizzlies. That's five, isn't it? That's what it looks like, maybe inside the five. Wow. And see, that's, that's what we talked about early, earlier on in the game. They'll just wear a team down over, and you can see Northridge is starting to get gassed. They're not getting to the ball as quick as they were, and they're more fearful of Chase Nelson's ability to pass and run. So they're all holding back. He's going to throw the ball this time. He's going to keep it. Nelson's going to keep it. He's got an opening. Nelson, touchdown, Logan. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was about 40 seconds. 42, I think, as a matter of fact. I think it was 10.46 when they took the ball. 18 After carries. Yeah. Sorry. No, go ahead. 18 carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown for Nelson to go along with 232 yards and three touchdowns through the air. Eighteen of twenty-two through the air for Nelson. The PAT is good. It's thirty-one to twenty. Logan with the double-digit lead over the Knights. Jury duty. Mm. You're happy about that. It's right next to that little pub with those amazing cheeseburgers. Like these? Did you guys have jury duty? Wendy's. The new pretzel bacon cheeseburger, specially crafted by Wendy's. Now that's better. Logan takes the 11 point lead thanks in part to that high short little pooch kick that caught Northridge off guardly. Yeah, and then it's all the all the Nelson show after that. A couple of runs and it's a score for Logan up 31-20 now. High, high kick and the Grizzlies get it back. This one's muffed and picked up down at the one yard line. Is that Lake back in the game? Yep, Lake came back in the last series. You were pointing out there, and I couldn't tell what you were saying. That's I him. thought that's what it was. One of our sponsors is Immaculate Homes, distinctive and stylish exteriors with custom modern floor plans. Immaculate offers a three-year unmatched warranty on your home. Their goal is to have you happy in years to come, not just the day you move in. Immaculate Homes. Well, I'll finally get the stat sheet for Northridge out. It's it's Logan been, offense been, been on the field for a while. They had the long touchdown drive and then the then the quick strike touchdown after the, the little pooch kick that they got back. Oh, nothing will fire a defense up better than a couple of scores from the offense. Give to Lake. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. And that's it. No gain, no loss. 18 carries, 52 yards for Lake. And he's been he's been solid. There have been times we've seen flashes. We talk about how he's committed to BYU and everything. He's a junior. <laughs> Remember that. He's, he's a verbally junior. committed. He's verbally committed. He's still just a junior. He could see the light and take a look at USU. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time. There's a throw, and there's Colby. The big tight end still on his feet. Finally taken out at the 35-yard line. Huge play for the Knights. You have got got to wrap up on that tackle. You can't just go through your shoulder pads and expect him to come down. That's an extra 15 yards after the first contact. I mean, all he does is make huge catches. That one was good for 40 yards. He's got 190 yards receiving. 190 wow. yards. And a lot of that is yards after the catch. So 
309 yards passing for Kasuda. Oh, and Logan gets, gets in the backfield quick, but I think he'll get a face mask call. Two, another late flag comes in. I don't know if you can call it a horse collar. He was moving his hand off there, but he might have had a hand up in the face. I think he did. We've seen a lot of tackles up around the head area in this game tonight, haven't we? A lot. Face mask, you're right. Five yard variety. So instead of a one yard loss, it's gonna be a five yard gain and it'll still be first down. The other flag came in late. I thought it might have been another penalty, but it was both, both a face mask call. So first and five, Lake in the backfield. One thing we haven't seen much this half, Lee, penalties. Coaches probably both had a few words to say about that in halftime. Kasuda down the middle's got a man. Touchdown, Kasuda to Lacey, 30 yards. King K just got fried on that, that little post. Was six yards behind his man. That's what you were talking about when we said two scores down for Northridge. Are they in trouble? And you said, nah. Nope. Now does Northridge go for two? You don't have to. If you go for two and you get it, a field goal wins the game. If you go for two and you don't get it, you got to score a touchdown. You can't tie anymore. But it looks like they're going to go for it. We're early to do that, I think. It's a five-point game. Yeah, you got to... You go for two, excuse me, and you make it a three-point game. That's what I meant to say. You yeah. make it a three-point yeah. game, and you don't, and it's five. You got to get a touchdown anyway. Either, either way. Yeah. Veteran quarterback, great skill players. You can get back in a game quick. They're going to throw oh, it. Look out. Oh. He was down. Yeah. So Logan coming up with a sack when they needed it. 31-26 with 9.15 to play. Logan still on top, but Northridge making a comeback. Clark Salt Lake Express and the airport shuttle have merged and become one. So we still have doorstep service and it's about the same price as it was before. Our focus now is to try to provide as many opportunities for people who, who need to have the ability to get to and from Salt Lake when they want. They don't want to wait at the airport for two hours. They also don't want to be driving around the valley when they get here. And you bring us to a location that leaves on time. We'll have another vehicle take you here to save time comfortably and, and that main vehicle goes 12 times a day on schedule both leaving the valley and coming back. Northridge doesn't waste much time getting back in this ball game. Tying it up with a couple of big plays. 30 yard touchdown throw. Kasuda puts it on a rope to Lacey. And just when you think uh, Logan's defense started to get them some things figured out, they get, uh, get another lesson. Somebody needs to pick that up. Compton, no, it's McIntyre finally does. Pretty good run back for that late pickup. <laughs> He's up near the 27. And uh, Logan, though, after the, after the sack on the two-point attempt, Logan still sitting on a five-point lead. So if you get into field goal range, kick a field goal, and now, you need a, now Northridge needs a, a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. If you don't do anything with it, Northridge still needs a touchdown to pull ahead. So. Well, the best thing that Logan can do is just stay on the field and uh, keep moving the ball, move the chains, don't turn it over down the field and chew up some of this clock and you're right at the end of that you know, put three points up every game counts 
But the ones that really count are those region games. Yeah, but this one counts. So you can take chances and do different things in a game like this. Look out. Here they go downfield. Artis got it. Oh, my Lanta. That was a catch. Holy crap. All sorts of hand fighting going on as they're down at the 10. That's 61 yards. That was as good as any catch his brother made. That was a great catch. Oh, you don't understand how hard that catch is. Catching it over your head, through a face mask, with shoulder pads, running full speed with somebody punk punching you in the face. That 94 is. yards on three catches for Artist. Wow. We talked about Compton having a quiet first quarter. He's got seven catches for 62 yards and a touchdown. And Logan in business again. McIntyre caught in the backfield. He does gain some positive yardage, but not much. That was almost like a let's catch our breath play. <laughs> I said 61, I think that went for more like 58 where they spotted it. Still. <laughs> still. Still pretty good. They talk about plays of over 20 yards being explosives. Well, we're sitting on a powder keg here in Leighton right now, the way this one's going. Two yard gain for McIntyre. Nelson hangs in, looking for the back of the end zone and just throws it out of there. Boy, he looks to go back the other direction, but he's cut off. Knight defender is right there with him. I think they got somebody spying on him right now. Nineteen of twenty-four for Nelson, two hundred ninety-three yards and three touchdowns. He's looking for another one. Third and eight. Eight twenty-five to play in regulation. taking their time on this one. We look to the sideline and now the back judge is counting. And Logan's sideline takes a timeout to keep that one in mind as well. Logan has to take a timeout with 8.25 to play. This is their first time out of the second half, I think. It is. Wendy's of Cache Valley is one of our sponsors. Wendy's is the real choice in fast food. They deliver quality, fresh food with real ingredients that provide the best tasting food at Wendy's of Cache Valley. And if you want to do yourself and your taste buds a favor, check out the new pretzel bacon cheeseburger. Out. Standing. Uh, Two pudgy thumbs up from this guy right so here. I really do like Wendy's. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. Dipping my fries in my Frosty. <laughs> yeah, I've never been into that. I but, love it. But I know a lot of people do. PR Graphics, another one of our sponsors. We create banners, signs, vehicle graphics, vehicle wraps and graphics for your four-wheeler or snowmobile. We can do any size, color, or design of graphics. We can customize or recreate to meet anyone's needs. That's PR Graphics, thanks to all of our sponsors. PR Graphics, a new sponsor. Yes. Third and eight. Nelson unloads. Oh, that yeah. one's short. I don't he could, couldn't step into that one. He got hit hard. Yeah, I don't think he could step into that. Now you're going to look at a field goal attempt. It's that field goal we talked about. That's an important three points. Put him up by eight. And your holder is your quarterback, Chase Nelson. Good snap, good placement, kick looks good, it is good. 34-26, Logan up by eight with 8.22 to play in regulation.
34-26 with 8.22 to play, and Logan gets the field goal. A key play on that drive. 60, well, 58 yards. Nelson to Artist, what a catch. What a great catch, fantastic. Over the head, man in his face. Great concentration. You know, it looked like the pass was going to be there. You just wondered if he would be able to adjust and make it because the, it was good coverage. Great coverage. The coverage was right there. That's what makes that pass, so, that pass reception so exceptional. This has been a fun game to watch because it's not really, there have been, there've been turnovers, but it hasn't been, scores aren't coming because somebody goofed up so much as guys are making plays. Yeah. And so that's kind of fun to watch. Guys are just making plays for and both they're not, teams. They're not really sloppy turnovers. They're great, great defensive plays. A lot of jumping routes and knocking balls loose forcing the turnovers rather than just taking them. Lake on that fly sweep. They ran it early and now they come back to it. Oh. He takes a pop. Say hello to my little friend. What was that? Is that Connor again? I think it was Jaden Connor. Connor. Is sick. Jaden Connor is Latin for cruise missile. And Lake goes over to the sideline and hits the dirt. He's down on the ground. Oh. He's off the field and he is down. He got racked. He ran hard and he picked up. Well, he picked up four yards, but he took a wallop. And he is, he's still down over on the sideline. Tell him to get up and get back in there. Nelson's getting hit like that every play. Kasuda has room to step up, he does. Now he's in trouble, down he goes. Whoa, a two point takedown, is that a sack? That is a sack. McKay Larson, the junior. Well, you can see a little spring in the step of the Logan defense now. And it's a loss of about three. That's the, by my reckoning, the first, first sack of the, the ball game. Sack, yeah. Almost had him once earlier, but it was didn't quite get him. They've done a good job protecting Kasuda, and they only rushed with three guys that time. And they're only bringing three now. Eight in coverage. Kasuda unloads, has a man, first down. <laughs> and that one went for about 14, and it goes to Mokalist. They're looking to run the screen, and Logan sniffs it out. That was Bracken Williams, twenty seven. Another loss. Tackle for loss. Two yard TFL. Who caught it? Somebody's getting minus two. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't see the numbers <laughs> that far away. <laughs> Somebody for the Knights. I think the crowd on the Northridge side has kind of been stunned silence a little bit. They They've were uh, quiet. They were raucous in that first yeah, half, weren't they? You probably heard them on the wild mic. Six minutes to play in regulation. Logan by eight. Second down and 12. Kasuda in trouble and down he goes again. Ball comes out. I think he but was he down. was down. Either way, it's a 10 yard loss. And was it Benyon that was there? That's who's coming up off the bottom of that pile. And they're doing this. They've changed things up. They're bringing three and they're dropping eight. And now there's not many throwing well, what lanes. That, yeah, what that's doing, you're exactly right, is, is Kasuda's having to hold that ball a little longer. There's not many people, to, not as many wide open receivers, so it's given a chance for the Logan defensive lineman to work a little bit. Two sacks the whole game, and they both come on this drive. It's third and a long way. Third and about 20. And they still only bring three, and they run a little delay, draw, handoff, oh. and they're gonna be close. More than close. Not close, they're gonna get it. Is that Ricks? 
Or is that... Uh, nope, that's Akeem McDaniel. He picked up 20 wow. yards. That kid. That kid's every bit as fast as uh, Diane Lake. Looked like it there, didn't it? Yeah. Boy, that's huge. That's huge. Logan could have put, started thinking about putting this one on ice. Nice job by the Knights. Kasuda still looking across the middle. Got his man and down after a gain of about eight. Well, good, good execution and a nice throw there. Logan's got a stiffen on defense here. They're getting worked in these last couple of plays. Crawford with his first catch of the game. Now they're bringing extra guys over the middle, oh, knocked away at the last second. Great play by Inn. Sees that ball at the last second, sticks his paw out, knocks it down. 4.17 to play. In regulation, Logan leading by eight. Northridge on the move, it's third down and three. Northridge a few minutes ago just picked up a third and almost 20. On the ground. And <laughs> they did it by running the draw. Well, Logan was, it was a good call because Logan's only rushing three. They got eight guys with their back to the ball. Chasing receivers around. See if Logan brings extra guys. There's six men up. Showing the blitz. And they're bringing them. Kasuda has to duck. And this one's incomplete. Suda stood in there and stood in there and finally he had to unload and he kind of had to duck as he let it go. Fourth down and three. They're going to got to go for it. 4.15 to go in the quarter. A game. Five of nine on third down. Yeah. This is, the, this is the game right here. Logan can ice this one if they hold him. Logan's offense has started clicking and I think Northridge is a little concerned if they give the ball back. They're not going to see it again. Northridge is 0 for 1 on fourth down in this game. And Logan wants a timeout. That's their second one. Coach Mike Favero is also the defensive coordinator. And he wants to talk to his defense. This is a big, big play. Discount Tire and Automotive is so much more than a tire store. Belts, hoses, batteries, we do that. Alignments, brakes, shocks, struts, suspension, air conditioning service, check engine line, preventive maintenance, full service oil change. We do all of that. Where is this? Discount tire and automotive. Wow. It's not just about the tires. So much more than the tires. Well, it started to sprinkle a little bit out here. It's been it's been threatening rain most of the day, and in some places along the Wasatch Front, it's unloaded, but it hasn't here in Layton. Hey, the logo shop, just like our name says, we logo stuff. Logo Shop can provide you with a vast assortment of quality product choices at prices that are competitive in all 50 states. We give you an effective and practical solution for promoting your business, club, or group. The Logo Shop. Fourth and three. Kasuda gets rid of it. Touchdown! Two yards. And they got to go for two here, down by two. Mokelbust from Kasuda. Kasuda, by my reckoning, goes over 400 yards with that one. I should. <laughs> Colby kid's got like four passes for 60 plus, hasn't he? Yeah. So this one can be the equalizer. With 407 on the clock. And a flag. Ooh, ooh, that's a big penalty. They call procedure against the offense when they're going for two. And that's the call. So now that backs him up to the eight yard line. That makes it a way more difficult play. 
Well, I kind of think you're looking at your big tight end, Colby, down here. Seeing if you can't get him on a mismatch. But let's see, they ran that misdirection earlier, kind of, they were a little farther out than this, and they haven't run that for a long time. See if they go back to something like that. Lake is not in the game. Ricks is your running back, two tight ends, and there goes Colby in motion. Back the other way, misdirection, and he dropped it! Oh, a heartbreaker, oh my gosh. Wide open, perfectly executed, celebratory. That's a long... Oh, that's terrible, celebrates before. Long walk for Colton it. Auger. And you feel bad feel for that bad young for that man. Kid. Nobody needs to say anything to him because he knows it. He's the junior. Onside kick. Most exciting play in uh, football right now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The problem is onside kick, what are you worried about? You got Logan's potent offense that if you give him a short field, this game will go away. It'll be done. the official training bike of the Tour de France, the Proform TDF, the first ever indoor training bike that delivers everything you demand. A 20% incline and a 20% decline, so you'll experience exactly what the road does. Because it's powered by Google Maps, you choose the road and the TDF follows it. Every incline and decline, so no matter what comes at you, you'll be ready. The Proform TDF automatically adjusts resistance, incline and decline. Plus, with a built-in power meter, you'll know your exact output. You decide where to go, and the official training bike of the Tour takes you there. And now that you've decided, we're ready to deliver. Order right now and get zero down and a free upgrade on rush shipping. Call the number on your screen or go online today. Well, this is all set up by that 42-yard touchdown pass. Local bus. From Kasuda to Mokel bus. The missed tackle. There was, yeah, the problem was. On fourth and three, yeah. they missed a tackle and down the sideline he goes. Try to cut off that route, you just cannot do that. No onside kick. You've got your safeties up because it's fourth and short. They run that, if you don't make the play as the corner out there, that's exactly what's gonna happen. And then the guy behind the mic can call a touchdown when you're still 30 yards away because pretty easy call. There's nobody between him and the end zone. So right now the difference in this ball game is two PATs. It's 34-32 with 4:07 to play. Logan they, they missed that one PAT earlier. Yeah, on a bad. Snap. They could have gone for one hold. instead of two and tied it up. Came back to bite them a little bit. See what Logan does. They need to keep the clock running. See if they put it in the air. See if they get a little conservative. Let's, let's find out. Nelson's going to keep it. He's in trouble. Spins out. Picks up about three. Logan likely won't be in any hurry. The problem is you can see how fast Northridge can score. And now a field goal would win the game if you're Northridge. And if they get the ball back. Logan's got to pick up at least one first down. And they'll take this right down to when that back judge is counting. He's not counting yet. And now he starts and now they snap it. They put it in the air. Compton. Just Third short. and less than a yard. That's a nice tackle. He got stood up right at the sticks. <laughs> 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 
Compton, eight catches, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Big play here now, third and one. Just going under three minutes left on the clock. We, we talked about the trouble they've had with the clock tonight. <laughs> yeah, who knows how much time was really left. <laughs> there could be more, there could be less. Boy, they're walking people up. A seam route would be a big deal. Nelson's going to keep it. Down he goes! Somebody's got to get a block. Wow. Timeout Northridge with 2.22 to play in regulation. Totally unblocked into the backfield. Nelson's got no chance. I don't care what kind of athlete. Michael Vick couldn't have got away from that. And I think when Logan looks at the film, they're going to see that there's just been a little bit much of that tonight, where you've got a black shirt in the backfield in a hurry for whatever reason. And they'll, they'll look at that. They'll figure it out. That's other why they play these games. Other teams will look at it and try to emulate that. So 2.22 to play. In fact, they're going to tell them to... 225 is what they're going to put up there now. That was the one time they did stop the clock at the right time. Now they're going to add three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost laughable. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Well, it's all part of the human element of sports. It's all part of what makes it so interesting and fun and why everybody gets... That's true. ...gets so in, up in the... Up in the up in arms. Hot and bothered about it. Yeah, sure, up in arms. We'll go with that. Yeah, whatever. Got a barn burner going on down in Provo as well. Tintview and Skyview are both putting a lot of points on the board in that game. And this one's going to come down. Logan's defense is going to have to win this game for him. <laughs> Mobile Bust has really been a factor here in this ball game in the second half. He got an interception earlier. Made a couple of big plays. Same thing though, Lee's guy, guys are making plays. That's right. Other region games, Roy laid a licking on Clearfield. What's, what's Clearfield's deal? They never can really get it together. And they're down at 4A now. And they lose a lot of kids before they even get to the program. They've just struggled to kind of get things going. They, they do have a lot of good youth programs down this way, but you've got Syracuse, Clearfield, Northridge, all within a few miles of each other, and all the kids kind of spread to each one of them. Well, Syracuse and Northridge seem to work it out. So here's my question. <laughs> There's still 225 on the clock. Yes. Didn't they snap the ball and punt it? Yeah. Oh, 221. Okay. Uh, random drug test, please. That's about right. All right, 60 yards away are the Knights. They're bringing everybody to the Grizz. Kasuda, let's go. Local bust! You gotta be kidding me, what a catch! They're in field goal range. Thirty-six yards. And McKay Jones is just getting worked over for Logan. He gave up that last touchdown, and here he gives up another big hitter to Mokabust. One hundred and seven yards and a touchdown for Mokabust. This, they're all doing this with Lake hobbled on the sideline. He's not even playing. I think they've... There's Akeem, the dream. McDaniel. This did not go down. He's out of the 25-yard line, clear down to the seven. Here's the problem sometimes you have when you have such a great player in Diane Lake. 
You go to him a lot. You use him a lot. He's not having a great game. He's out of the game now. These guys are stepping up and playing great. They got a lot of tools they weren't using earlier, like McDaniel and Michael Bust. First and goal, under two minutes to play. Here's the give. They're in field goal range. A field goal wins this ball game. Timeout Logan, that's their last one. A field goal well, doesn't win the ball game if they have to kick it early, but if, if Northridge, they can just run up the gut. Because if they don't score a touchdown, they can run the clock down and kick a field goal. And you wonder if you're Logan. Do you get your offense a chance, or do you and let them score? Let them score. You, That's the hardest. Time? I, you know, sometimes it's the right thing to do, but how do you do it? It's so hard to, to let, to them let score. another team yeah. score. Yep. Chess game that is football. I think uh, I would have a hard time letting the team score. Yeah. Because you never know. You play because what if there's a turnover? What if this? What if that? Again, the, the games that count the most are those region games, but you want to win everything. It would be nice to get out of the box of the win for both these teams. Yep. They both want it. Patterson looks like he's coming. Two is uncovered. They're going to run it.
Optical industry is changing an awful lot right at the moment. A lot of new advances in lenses uh, and styles of frames. Right at the moment, the most popular thing are big, black, chunky, lucky frames. Um, for for both guys and gals, we help someone uh, look better uh, not only from this side but from the, from the outside in.
We want to take care of our customers and give back to those that continually support our store. We've come up with the Cooking Up Credit Club for you, and what we're going to do is every time you come in, we're going to put the total before tax in one of these six boxes across the bottom. Once you fill up a card, we're going to give you 10% back in store credit on all of your purchases. There's no exclusions. Anything you buy, you're going to get 10% back in store credit. At the end of that, once one of these cards is filled up for you, you're also going to be invited to Cooking Up Club member uh, shopping days that are specific for you. Stop down, we'll tell you all about it and see how you can save more money when you shop here at KitchenAids. A kitchen store with so much more Love to cook at Kitchen Needs these people lost a total of 306 pounds and got incredible results like this by doing one simple exercise, incline training. And now you can get amazing results in the comfort of your own home on the new incline trainer from Nordic Track, the most trusted name in fitness. Only the new Nordic Track incline trainer can go from 0 to 40% incline. That's Nordic Track quality and innovation for real results. In fact, on the incline trainer, you can burn the same amount of calories walking in half the time compared to running. 
The incline training really has helped me burn fat. I'm burning calories. I could burn 800 calories in 30 minutes. The higher the incline, the more muscle is activated and the more calories you burn. And with iFit technology, you have your own personal trainer. iFit automatically starts your machine, adjusts your speed, time, and incline while your personal trainer coaches you every step of the way. Now you're burning five times the calories. So whether you're walking, jogging, or running, the more the incline, the more calories you burn fast. I just feel great. I feel confident walking down the street. It's been a great experience. I'm a totally different man. With Reflex Cushion technology, the Nordic Track Incline Trainer instantly absorbs each and every step, which means less impact on your joints. I am actually running where I couldn't do that before. Incline training is the key thing that gave me my shape. In the first 12 months, I lost about 110 pounds. It eliminated that fat. Call or go online now to get this free info kit and find out why the Nordic Track Incline Trainer delivers results fast. With the Nordic Track Incline Trainer, you can burn five times more calories in the shortest amount of time. All you have to do is walk, call, or go online and find out how for zero down you can bring home the Nordic Track Incline Trainer. Plus, if you act now, you'll get 16 weeks of iFit workouts with Jillian Michaels, star of TV's The Biggest Loser, absolutely free. Now, you can burn more calories in less time with the Nordic Track Incline Trainer. To order or to get your free info kit, call 1-800-315-6480 or go online to nordictrack.com. Call or go online now. Questions. When you're caring for a loved one with Alzheimer's, not a day goes by that you don't have them. Questions about treatment options, home nursing, finances, about whether you're doing the right things, where to go for extra help, how to live better with the disease. So many questions. Where do you start? Alzheimer's.gov. The answers start here. So you two must be very proud of Johnny. We sure are. Yeah, he's a great kid. So is he working at the dealership? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Yes, he is. Oh, right, he just started there. Actually, it's it's been about six weeks. Has it been that long? Hmm. And he graduates next year? Oh, no, no, no. See, he still has a couple of fun. Yes, he does. Oh, Johnny. Sure, Johnny graduates next year. Need to get closer to your family? What about your kids? You have kids, right? Give your family everything. Give them your time.